Hi, my name is Matt Saxton, and I'm on the sales and account management team here at Kite Technology Group. Today, I'd like to go over a nifty Microsoft Outlook extension called FindTime. FindTime is available on Outlook for Windows, Outlook for Mac, and Outlook on the web for free with Microsoft Business and Enterprise Licensing. If you're like me, you know the struggle of trying to schedule a time for a meeting while coordinating with two or more people's calendars, not to mention if you lack view access to one or more of those calendars. This handy add-in for Outlook can make scheduling client meetings a walk in the park. Let's quickly review how to install FindTime for those who don't yet have it installed. Installing FindTime is quick and easy and takes only a few seconds to do. From the home page, simply go to Get Add-ins. You want to type FindTime in the search bar here, and then there will be an Add button right there if you don't already have it. Once installed, you'll actually see the FindTime icon at the top right of your Outlook window uh, over here by Add-ins. Now let's take a look at how it works. So as you can see here, I have a demo email in my inbox that I received from an old Gmail account of mine to demonstrate how Find Time works for those both inside and outside of your organization. Let's start by replying to this client request. From here, we can add internal or even additional external participants to the email response, with those being CC'd as optional participants. Let's go ahead and add my dear friend, Ryan Emmerich, as an optional attendee to the meeting. And then once we have all of our meeting participants selected, we simply click the find time icon at the top right here, and it's automatically gonna sync my calendar with anybody that I have view access for, for uh, their calendars. As you've probably noticed by now, there's one participant that shows the status of white. Uh, that's gonna be an external email account that shows an unknown availability. But this is where find time shines. Let's start by looking for a few occasions that both Ryan and I have open availability for a client meeting. Let's say we wanted to schedule our call for next Tuesday. Uh, we can do this simply by navigating the little ribbon here and selecting the day of your choosing, which will be Tuesday, May the 10th. And wow, it looks like Ryan and I have a lot of availability this day. Um, you can see the times that somebody is either tentatively blocked or they have uh, something where they're busy like this here, it'll show as red. Uh, so let's select a few times for our client to choose from, say throughout the day here. And then, you know, just in case Matt number two is a busier guy than I am, let's give him some options for Wednesday as well. You can do this just by clicking Wednesday and selecting some times. And then you can note that it actually doesn't get rid of the times you've already selected. So you can select multiple days to offer them. Um, and then one last thing before you hit next is you wanna make sure the duration is set as you want it to be. So by default, this will be 30 minutes, but obviously you can customize this to whatever you like. And then this will automatically keep um, the, the find time poll within your work hours. So it's gonna look at your, your Outlook settings and make sure that they're not gonna schedule eight o'clock at night or five in the morning or something crazy like that. And then once you're ready, click next. So you can set a few options here, such as location. Um, definitely make sure you have Teams meeting enabled, which is the default setting, of course. But this will actually generate an automatic Teams meeting invite uh, to both yourself and the optional attendees, as well as the client. Uh, there's a few other customizations you can play with. But when you're ready, click add to email and voila, there it is. Now let's take a peek inside the client inbox. As you can see here, they received the email of the poll we linked them, and they can access that poll just by clicking the link here in the email. It's gonna open uh, the find time poll in a separate tab where they can see all of their options. So they can click prefer if they have a preference, otherwise yes is gonna do the same thing. Uh, find time's automatically going to select the most preferred time for all of required attendees. So whatever that first option is will be automatically scheduled. And then one thing you do wanna note is that optional attendees are just that, they're optional. So if all of our required attendees do vote before Ryan or the other optional attendees do, find time will automatically schedule the meeting for the first time that works best for required attendees. So once the client has this selected their preferred time, meeting time, uh, find time will handle the rest for us. And we can see that if we navigate back to my kite inbox here. So we'll get an email with all the, the votes that went through. And the very next email will actually be the time that it was scheduled. So it's gonna automatically add that to our calendars too. Uh, this tool is great for letting the client select a time that works best for them without really restricting them down to one or two times that we manually email them each time. That's really all there is to it. I hope you found this quick tutorial on how to use FindTime helpful. Thank you for watching and take care.